Hey everyone, Matt Johnson here back with another mini episode of Real Estate Uncensored. As usual, Greg is trying to mess me up right before we go live, so we've got that to deal with. But we're talking about live streaming video for real estate, so this is a treat. Uh, we're actually going to talk about Periscope, Meerkat, and Blab. And uh, there's some other cool stuff coming down the pipe that we're not quite ready to talk about, uh, but there's a lot of cool technology that's come out lately that we are experimenting with right now. Uh, Greg especially is doing some really cool stuff, so we're going to talk about that and how you can use it in your own real estate business. Uh, while we wait for people to hop on live, let me talk to anybody that's watching this on the replay. Uh, make sure that you subscribe on YouTube so you get the latest videos and hangouts that come out on our YouTube channel, and that also lets YouTube know that you want this type of content in general. So, you know, content from other types of real estate coaches will come across your feed as well. So, with that, let's bring in Greg. What is up today, man? What's up, dude? Um, I was telling Matt before we got on here that I was listening to some of our uh, older uh, mini hangouts and our longer hangouts and podcasts and everything. I got to tell you guys, we're getting a lot better at this. <laughs> damn, we We've were gone from being totally incompetent to not to, totally incompetent. To semi incompetent. Yes, we yeah. are absolutely. We're like customer service in America. We're lo- one level above crap. No, that's I'm right. kidding. No, actually, we, there is a, there's some really, 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 really cool stuff that's coming down the pipe, guys. I have an app sitting in front of me right now. Because I'm dyslexic, I literally cannot pronounce it. So I'm going to have Matt on a later mini, probably next week, we'll be able to talk about this. I'm going to have a chance to play with it. But in, in, in essence, what this thing is going to be able to do, um, you can like do different types of messages through video, audio, text um and a couple other things that you can then send to clients uh which i thought was really really cool and and it's all built into one app and that's just one of the things so uh, my dyslexic ass will have matt decipher this and then we will bring it to you but today we're talking about live streaming video all of you folks that are taking the time out of your business day to watch us right now uh thank you so much matt and i truly love all of you guys we do it for you we want it to hear from you on everything and anything that comes across your mind you know those of you who um who reach out to us you know and actually want to uh, talk with us and you know kind of you know they're like blown away that we actually respond um you know jennifer uh last night well, actually, no, Bonnie Stevens, Bonnie. excuse yeah. me, some, uh, from Berkshire Hathaway. Bonnie, what is up? You were blown away that I, we actually responded to you within a few minutes. So, you guys, we're no joke. We're here to help and serve. That's why we do this. Oh, and we like it. Yes, it's fun it's, for us. So yeah. it, it really is. It's like it's like playtime in the middle of the day. Then we got to go back to the real stuff. But anyway, let's quit talking. We're, we're, just, we're just blabbing on, Matt. That's right. All <laughs> right, so let's uh, let's start with the easy one. Let's start with Periscope. Okay, any and all of you guys who may or may not know what Periscope is, Periscope and Meerkat and Blab, these are all going to be live streaming apps. Uh, and Periscope and uh, Meerkat go directly to your Twitter feeds, okay? So if you guys are big on Twitter, if you want to grow your Twitter, um, this is a really good way to do it. Meerkat is something that I really like a lot. Now, there's pros and cons of both Periscope and Meerkat. So Periscope's pros are this. Um, if you aren't following someone, uh, if you don't know who to follow, there's a little globe at the bottom. You can click on that, and you can go watch anyone in the world that's, that's shooting a live video stream at that very second. Start watching them. Start seeing what they're doing. Um, and then you can kind of, if you like what they're doing, you can start following. So whenever they come live, um, you know, you can go, you'll be notified, like, hey, so-and-so's live. Like, McGregor McDaniel Systems is live. Go watch his his quick little video stream. Um, there's a girl called, I mean, I, this is one of my first people I followed who I'm definitely going to unfollow. Her name was like Suicide Girl or something. Dude, it is the most moronic shit that comes out of this person's mouth. So 90% of the people that you actually watch on Periscope or find are going to be doing stupid things like walking a cat, taking a walk through L.A., um, yeah, I mean, this people. is like the early days of YouTube. I mean, this yeah, except it's it live. I mean, it's it's a it's a wild, wild west. So be careful of what. Uh, what just be see. aware. Of, be be careful of what you click on. Be yeah, aware because thing goes. Yeah, I mean, and, and trust me, I've seen a lot of the anything part. <laughs> it, it, you need you get blinded by some of the sh- crap you see out there. But anyways, the positives here is like I follow a guy named Grant Cardone. Any of you guys who don't know who Grant is, he's a sales trainer. Um, he just he just does an amazing job with what he puts out there. And if you watch what he does live, like I was watching him last night, and I picked up some amazing tips uh, that we can put into our business life right then and there. Heard about his past story, but what you can really do with with with, with Periscope right here is, you know, I have a couple of different as as always. I did. Uh, no one can see this. I'm pulling up a big old thing of paper, a uh, bunch of prep for this. But Matt, I'm going to talk a little bit about. Uh, actually, hold on, my ADHD is kicking in. Let's do one okay. thing first. 
Okay. okay. Back that back that truck up. So pros on Periscope, you can watch anyone anywhere in the world. Okay. You can go live at any time um, and, and you can follow anyone that you start to like. Um, now your videos that you record on Periscope are only good for 24 hours and then they die off. So if this is good for brand building, this is good for a lot of different things. But if you will say you flub on a, uh, on a video or something like that, don't worry. It's not going to stay there for life. It's not YouTube. It'll go away in 24 hours and you can do another one the next time around. There is no, there is no real protocol, I guess, for shooting a, a, a Periscope or Meerkat video is just basically be genuine and be real. Tell yeah. a real story. You have about two and a half seconds to five seconds for someone to like you and start listening to you. And you should, if you're going to do this, you need to learn the art of storytelling. That's what people are really using this for. It's a great way to do content, but you have to tell a story. You know, protagonist, antagonist, you have a problem, there's drama, and then, this, then the solution. Okay, if you can master that, start researching it and start engaging with people. The way you're going to get people liking you, you're going to start seeing little hearts on your mm -hmm. screen. And that's when they're tapping on the screen, meaning they like what you what they're hearing. Also, people can type back to you and interact with you, and then you can talk back with them. So they can't yeah. get on a video chat with you, but they can do a typing and talk with you there. Now it's yeah. a lot of fun. People around the world will start will will start chiming in with you. You get people from all over the globe that will pick up randomly pick up and start watching you and the key to get watched is you want to be persistent and consistent the best one is consistent if you're going to do this a lot and start doing this for your business you know what are we at we're uh 307 on wednesday so let's say at three o'clock on wednesdays you're going to do a periscope you're not because you're watching us so let's say four o'clock on right. wednesdays yeah exactly um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course. Right. Right. We're already doing a live broadcast. Don't conflict with us. Uh, <laughs> Don't watch two. But, uh, but yeah, just, that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we do these Mondays and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. So and and we tinker around a little bit with with simulcast like simulcasting these on Periscope. It's a little odd when you can't hear the other side of the conversation. So we'll yeah. talk about blab in a second. But if you're if you're really good at just one to one or just yourself to many. Uh, Periscope is really, really good, both Periscope and Meerkat. But yeah, like the consistency of having a specific time that you go live is mm, something that other people have figured out works really, really well. And so that's part of why we do these many hangouts at the same time, Mondays yeah. and Wednesdays. And be energetic. I mean, put put more personality than you typically do in the day. So if you're kind of dull and kind of reserved, you got to mm. come out of your shells, guys. If yeah. you're like me and Matt that are a little bit, you know, more boisterous, if that's a word. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't see know. I think I kind of flubbed that one. I've been talking too much today. Right. Uh, this is my third live hangout today, so I have no idea what you mean. Well, well, this I, is I am my tapped second. out as far as energy. Well, this is my second buddy, okay? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but who's counting, right, between the two of us? Um, but the, but so the important thing here, guys, is that you can also share these. So it's not just on Periscope where these are going to be housed. You, if you want to share it on Twitter uh, as a replay or if you want to share it on Facebook, you can share them directly out to your friends there. So it's a great way to broadcast these out, and you're going to be able to maybe take those, those uh, feeds and you can put them across multiple different channels of social media. That's one of the biggest things on social media marketing is that you need to leverage all the different mediums you're going to do and have a plan and a schedule to make them all one. Okay. That's one of the biggest and most important things. So now let's talk about Meerkat for a second. Okay. Meerkat is almost exactly the same as Periscope except for the fact that Meerkat has a couple of features that I want to talk about really quickly that are really neat that Periscope doesn't have. Now, like Periscope, you can go live instantaneously. Um, and of course, on both of these platforms, guys, and on Blab, all these, the big thing that's going to get people to watch you is going to be your title. Got it? It's like it's like a headline in a newspaper or anything else. Make it something when people see it, they're like, "Oh crap, I got to watch this." So that's where you're going to get a lot of followers there. Um, but on Meerkat, you can schedule a time. So if you guys really wanted to start really scheduling times and be religious about it, Meerkat might be a better option for you because you could you know, broadcast out to folks going, Hey, look, Matt, I'm going to be live at four o'clock on Wednesday. Come, I'm going to talk about, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you can tell people what they're going to be watching in the future. So that's a, that's a big, huge plus. It's not going to be kind of random for folks. You can actually do both platforms, one planned, one kind of, you know, standardized times. So it depends on the users. They can hit both sides. The other cool thing is that Meerkat has a camo app. Or a camo function, and the camo function is really kind of cool. Um, 
no disrespect to you on this one, Matt. But let's say Matt's doing a meerkat. <laughs> and he's kind of botching it, in my opinion, right? And then I'm like, dude, I can do a better than better job on this certain subject matter. And I can hit a request to Matt if I can camo him, which means I would then hijack his feed, his live feed, and come in and start talking on Matt's live feed. But Matt would have to accept my request, and which would stay up for 60 seconds, and then it would go away. So if Matt's like, dude, Greg's a fool, I don't want him anywhere near my feed, <laughs> then he could just completely slough me off and you know and and off go and never no do that, that ever i know you i know you wouldn't that's why that's why we're buddies man. never totally reject that request <laughs> i would never that's totally awesome. reject it it's uh that's interesting so i mean yeah. hopefully people get i think as people get more comfortable with number one always having their their cell phone out and getting more comfortable with with how to how to work their lighting uh and just you know feeling comfortable with being on video as these streaming apps get more popular i think people will be more likely to say hey yeah i'll jump on that one with you you know, right now, I think there's some pushback or some, not pushback, maybe hesitancy to get on and jump on a live video and ask questions and interact and participate, but I think that will go away. So it's only a matter of time until people start getting more comfortable with that and yeah. start doing more of that where they're jumping on to each other's uh, live video streams. And, and Matt, you dovetail perfectly into one of my next comments here and thoughts is that a lot of the articles I've read, a lot of the stuff I've been researching about it is that people are very nervous to use Meerkat and Periscope and Blab. And Blab we'll talk about in two seconds. Um, and it's, the reason why is because it's 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 a direct live video feed. I mean, there's no room for screwing up. But in reality... Yeah, but that's not, it's not even really the they, case, though. It's, no, it's, it's not. not. What are you going to screw up? I think that's what you we can't. People think, that there's no margin for error, but it's a, it's a live broadcast. It's it's improvisation, so the standards yeah. are a lot lower. There, It's like, it's the difference between going and seeing a live comedy stand-up special where the guy rehearsed his act for a year before he sets foot on stage versus going and seeing an improv act where everything is made up off the cuff. You, yeah, you have completely different expectations for those two, even though they're all live performances. Even though it's still intended to make you laugh, the expectations that people have going into those two things are wildly different. Wildly different. And, and guys, this is like Matt said, this is the wild, wild west. There is no expectation. Just yeah. go talk, go hang out, go invite people to you know talk back with you, encourage them to watch you, be you know promote yourself. This is a brand promotional thing. If you like, I like to drive. You know, when I'm driving home. I'll post up my uh, my camera in my car and I'll talk to people on my way home. I mean, I'm looking around, looking at traffic, I'm doing this and everything, but I'm talking about specific subject matters and you can see when people come on and if they like it and if you can keep it engaging with them. But if I had a standing time on Meerkat that, hey, every night at six, I'm talking, no matter where you guys are, if you're at a dinner party, if you're out in your backyard, or if you're mowing your lawn, out for a walk with your dog, if you're seeing your wife or husband, or if you're down with your kids, who cares? You know, there's certain, you know, safety protocols like you don't want to show your children or you don't want to talk about you're leaving on a trip for a long time, you know, stuff like that. Obvious, you know, normal stuff you'd, you know, probably never think about because <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going on a trip to Hawaii. It's going to be amazing, guys. See you in like 10 days. All the thieves are like, uh, what's that address one more time? <laughs> That's right. Did you grab that IP real quick? Um, <laughs> but right, it's a blab. Let's talk about blab. blab. I am blabbing. I'm blabbing. You are right blabbing. Down. All right. We got like two minutes. Blab I am. Oh, blab yourself. I'm blab off. <laughs> <laughs> so blab. Thank you. I actually that one just came to me. I love yeah, this. Okay. So blab. Um, blab is if so like on Google Hangouts that we're on right now, guys. If Google Hangouts and Meerkat or or uh, Periscope had a kid, that's what blab would be. It's up to a four person live stream conversation on any subject matter now go to it's only for uh, iphones at the moment i believe still uh but they've watched my desktop though so if you go yeah, to you can watch my desktop i am you can watch the feeds you just can't broadcast one from there and the cool thing is that they've really expanded and really made it easy for people to pick things to watch so there's different categories you can watch like if you're in let's say you're big into cooking just hit cooking wham there's all your feeds on cooking you can watch now here's the really 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 cool part if you if there's two, one two or three people on a blab there's going to be a join button on that fourth one where you can ask to join the conversation and join in and start talking to people about different subject matters uh and just weighing in now how could you use this in real estate you say 
well, guys, why don't you start blabbing with your lender, um, you know, maybe a past client? Why don't you guys do it with uh, uh, a home insurance people? Why don't you do it with a mayor? Why don't you do it with anything? Doesn't Contractor, have to be business owner, any referral yeah. partner of any kind. Of any kind. And you don't have to be in the same location. You can be on the dark side of the moon. As long as you get reception, it doesn't matter. And the thing is, is that people can come and go, come and go. And if it's just you and another person just blabbing away, Dude, rock and roll with this. This stuff is amazing. Periscope, quickly. I know you want to run, Matt, but we got to wait. Uh, Periscope, Meerkat, Blab, all of these can be incredibly useful for a couple of the following. It would be one for brand building. It would be for a great Q&A sessions of maybe about real estate, about the market, about housing, about you know cooking, about whatever you want to talk about. You can do virtual open houses, guys. Talk about the opportunity for someone who's on Meerkat, who has a scheduled open house, which I'm going to do actually this Sunday. Just you guys decide to do that. Uh, I'm going to do a live open house. I'm going to walk through our property that's going to come on the market for 749 and show people this home in Walnut Creek. Um, and then you can take questions and answer them live right then and there. Or you can do it on Blab and have a video conversation with people on it. So anything that you, your mind can conceive on how to put this thing to use, anything that you've done in the past on phones or emails or anything else, you can do it on these live streaming apps. So really start getting involved with these things, guys. Everything I'm reading on video apps, they are, they are going to be the new thing. They already are. Uh, everyone who's taking you know, hold of this thing are, are, are just running with it. If you don't know, um, talking about live feed, streaming apps or, and, and uh, feeds, Facebook is coming up with and coming out with Facebook Live. Yeah. I know Matt knew about that, but I didn't a little while ago. They only have it for celebrities and um, people who are influencers right now, but they're beta testing with them. I feel so bad for all the people on my Facebook group when I get my access to a live streaming feed on Facebook. <laughs> it's like my crack. Yeah. I mean, I put videos up there already about homes. Wait till I get access to go unfettered access to really talk to you real time. Yeah, that that would be huge if that if they converge those two things and they make live streaming video available on Facebook to the masses. Mm -hmm. That would be huge because that's where most people are, at least it, the, it the people that buy real estate. You know, mm -hmm. um, they're they're not going to necessarily hop on. You know, especially outside the Bay Area. Let's say where things are a little bit less tech savvy. The average person in the Midwest is not on Periscope. At least not the average person under the age of let's say 35. So, but if they get on Facebook, holy cow! If they uh, that that's that's what I'm excited about is the ability to integrate those two things. Because right now, that's part of why I love Google Hangouts so much is it streams to YouTube. You can also embed that in our website, which might be where you're watching this right now. So there's um, you know, can you kind of get the best of both worlds? It's integrated with things that people are used to, as opposed to Twitter, where it tends to skew so much younger. Very true. And you know, one maybe one of the final things here, Matt, is that what these apps and you know streaming systems do is it is it humanizes you. Okay, you're not just a stagnant human being, on, you know, face on a photo on a, on a printed card. You're a live, living, breathing person talking about subject matter that pertains to the you know someone else's life. So you become relevant all of a sudden. So get out of your own way. Start doing some live streaming feeds. Start using these, you know, the, these apps that are out there that are 100% free. So if you have no budget whatsoever, but you love to talk like me, you know, get in front of a camera, start chatting about something. It doesn't matter if it's not about real estate, guys. Just, po you know, tell me then, hey, I'm a real estate agent in this city, by the way. If you have any real estate questions, let me know. I'm going to be back tomorrow, same time, same place. You know, yeah, I mean, one of the, just think of it in terms of, um, you know, what would you put on Facebook or what would you do a blog on? It doesn't have to be about real estate every time, uh, but probably the one of the most valuable things you as a real estate agent could put out would be community uh, community events and just local community interest um, stories. So yeah. talk about what's going on, talk about what's going on in the industry, talk about what's going on in the market, talk about what's going on in the community, and then as an aside, people, you know, you let people know that you're an agent, but you, everything is not a sales pitch, obviously. I mean, the purpose of Periscope and Meerkat was to give people like a window into other people's daily lives, mm -hmm. and so that's all it has to be. People will know that you're an agent, and if you come across credible, you're going to get your shot you know, to have an appointment or whatever the case is. You just have to give, uh, which go, again goes back to something else that me and Greg do, which is having some, some easy place to send somebody because these are live broadcasts and it's hard to get people a link 
where they can get a hold of you. Um, you have to have some place to go, whether it's a, a custom URL on Facebook or go buy a domain on on GoDaddy and, and send it to your blog or something, but give something out. Like ours is reulive.com or we have reupodcast.com. So we have a couple of website names that we bought that redirect to our site so mm -hmm. that we can give something out over a live broadcast. It's very, very easy to remember. It's very easy to hear. And it's, somebody can just go type that in right away and go to our website, for example. So something you may want to look into is how, you know, where are you sending people? How, how can people connect with you if they see you on a live like a Periscope? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, guys. So, I mean, I think we're, we're, we're five minutes over our time frame here. But you guys, um, please go use them. Let us know your thoughts. Um, also, oh, yeah, one, that's what I was going to say. Uh, Daniel down in Florida, dude, what's up, man? Great talking with you last night on our prospecting group. Um, this would be good for you, my friend, because a lot of the folks that are out of the area, you're in a second home market. This would be a phenomenal way that if buyers are coming in from out of town, they don't know the marketplace, you be the Periscope or Meerkat or Blab contact that they go directly to. And you can be like, hey, I can be at any location in such and such town within 15 minutes to an hour and I will show you live streaming. I can answer any real time questions for you about what's going on or a home or didn't understand an inspection report and you wanted to see what was happening right there. I mean, that, it can be used for that stuff as well, guys. So there you go, yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Good Great talking, tip. brother. Cool. Uh, All right. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. For anybody that uh, is watching watching us live, go subscribe on YouTube. If you're watching the replay, uh, do the same or check us out on reupodcast.com. Uh, you can also connect. If you want to actually watch Greg's live broadcasts, uh, it's at McDaniel Systems, especially on uh, Periscope, right? I think it's uh, – are you hooked yeah. up into the same thing on Meerkat? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think it's I think it's at McDaniel Systems. I'm pretty sure. So uh, so that's what to look for on uh, on Twitter and Periscope to connect with Greg and see his live broadcast. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey, Matt and I are gonna do some more research on some more of this other you know kick ass uh, you know technology that we're gonna be bringing to you guys. Hit us up. Test us. If you don't think we're gonna get back to you, try it. We'll get back to you. But that's right. You can always email Greg directly at um, greg at mcdanielcallahan.com. Mm, no, don't do no. that one. Don't do that one. That's going to end up in cyberspace. It's <laughs> mcdaniel.44 at gmail. So mcdaniel.44 at gmail.com. Email director. That's my personal email, guys. Hey, yeah. can we? We want to know what you're struggling with. So that's, that's what Bonnie was responding to that Greg mentioned earlier. So we want to know what people are struggling with right now so we can have we can do special mini hangouts or we can do full episodes on it depending on whether it's something that needs to be handled in depth. We just want to know what you're struggling with right now and we will help you out. And it is at McDaniel system by the way. But yeah, absolutely guys. Thank you so much for your time Matt and Matt, I look forward to hanging with you again, my friend. And All right. Yeah, we got an episode uh, coming up this Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, so we will see you guys all there. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So don't mm -hmm. miss. That's right. All right guys, take it easy. See ya.